All righty, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Hi, I'm Dr. Wallace. Uh, today we're working in the uh, mastodon pit, basically, or working on a mastodon. And uh, we're trying to get some rocks that are in our way, sort of out of our way. And the best way to do it, or at least what I consider the funnest way to do it, is to blow them up. And what we're using are basically low impact micro explosives. These were designed for cave rescue, so they're very low impact. Obviously, if you're trying to save a person, you don't want to blow them up. So they're perfect for our use. And essentially what you've got here in front of me is the sort of a, the standard toolkit. Uh, you've got tools for cleaning and prepping the drill hole. Uh, we've actually got the firing head here, which has a firing pin uh, to set off the explosives. Um, in here, these are the actual explosives themselves. Very small, very easy. And um, of course, you know, the actual firing device itself. It's all run on compressed air, so it's really easy, really portable, and it's perfect for our use. That's the one video that I remember from that I don't remember. All right, if you noticed when I was drilling, it might have looked like I was holding it in a really awkward position. What's nice is this is a hammer drill, so it pretty much does all the work for you. So really all you have to do is hold it in place and it'll do all, everything for you. So it doesn't take a lot of effort. I just kind of hold it and let it do its job. You'll also notice that the drill bit has several marks on it, red marks. These represent the number of charges. So if I'm only gonna put in one charge, I drill it here, two charges here, three charges here. So I can put up to three charges in a single, you know, or with a single head for a single explosion. If you notice, before I put the heads in, I was tapping them down. One of the neat safety features of those heads is there's actually a magnet in there that holds the firing pin. So what you have to do, or at least what you should do, is you'll see me kind of fling it out a few times to make sure the pin is actually loose. But then right before I seat it, I want to tap it good to make sure it sits back on that magnet, that magnet holds it in place. Because that's the last thing I want while I'm pushing that thing down on the cartridge is for the firing pin to fall. I hope you enjoyed the blasting today. I know we did. It was a great tribute to the 4th of July. Uh, we did a little over a dozen different blasts, uh, broke up quite a few rocks, and um, you know, sort of had a fun time. So definitely check back again if you get the, the chance. Uh, visit the Great Fossil Site and see what else we're doing.